All right, folks, welcome back to AWS Simplified. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up an SNS topic to an SQS queue, and we're going to be doing a walkthrough in the console. So let's head over there and get started. All right, folks, here we are in the console. So I'm going to start out by creating the SQS queue first, and then I'm going to follow that by creating the SNS and then adding the subscription. So let's go to SQS and do that. Okay, so simple queue service, click on that. And we're going to go on create a new queue. And we're going to call this queue transactions queue. And for this exercise, we're just going to be leaving everything default. So standard queue. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you can actually click on quick create queue. So this is going to just pre-populate some of the other options so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, so I'm going to click on quick create. And that's pretty much it. So queue has been created. Uh, now we need the ARN because when we go and create the SNS topic, it's, it's going to ask who we want to subscribe it to. So we need to copy this to our clipboard here. So I'm going to do that now. So now I have that saved. Let's go over to SNS and create our topic and subscription. Okay, so this is, okay, I guess this is asking us um, what the topic name is. Since we don't have a topic on this account, you kind of get this weird UI. So let's just say transactions topic. So this is the view that you'd see if you just click on create a topic, if you have other topics in your account. This is more what I'm used to. Um, so we call the transactions topic. We're going to be leaving everything default here. And we're going to click on create topic. Okay, perfect. So now our topic is created. And here is the ARN for the topic. And here's the name. So the next step is to create the subscription from the topic to the queue. So let's go to create subscription. And it's kind of pre-populating our SNS ARN, which is good. And we want our destination to be an SQS queue, the one that we just created in the previous step. So I'm going to change this to SQS. And it's going to ask us what the endpoint is. So since I copied the ARN from the previous step, I have that on my clipboard. I'm just going to copy that in right now. And we're not going to enable raw message delivery. This is a, an option that I'm not going to get into, but um, maybe useful if you have high data payloads or high data size payloads. Uh, from there, we're going to click on create subscription. And perfect. So the subscription is created. So that's not everything. We actually need to go and add some specific permissions to our SQS queue in order for it to be able to receive messages from this SNS topic. And this is actually one of the most common reasons people get stuck. They think that after they create the queue and after they create the subscription, um, that you're all done, but you're not. You need to actually go and specify a very specific permission. So before we go and create that permission, we need to grab the ARN of the topic. So I'm just gonna copy the ARN and put that on my clipboard. So now I have that saved. So let's go to SQS now and create that permission. SQS. And here's the queue we just created. I'm gonna click on it, go to the permission section, and you're gonna be clicking on add a permission. You can also do it via the policy document, but I'm gonna show you through just the intuitive UI on how to do this. So you click on add permission. And then, so you leave it as allow, and you're going to say everybody here. And we want a very specific permission here. So we want the send message permission. So we're going to click on send message. And then we want to add a condition to this. So we only want send message to be possible from a specific SNS topic. So the one that we created in the previous step. So when I click on add conditions, we get a whole bunch of other options. So we need to change a couple things here. So string equals, I believe that's fine. And we want key to be source ARN. And we want the value to be the SNS topic that we created in the previous step. So I just pasted that in. Um, excuse me. So this was the ARN of the SNS topic. So you can see that there. Click on add permission. Yes. And so that looks right. So let's go back to our SNS topic and publish a message and see if it lands over here. So we're going to SNS, going to topics, transaction topic, and we're gonna manually publish the message. And we'll just call this test. And the body will be test message. 
and we say publish message. Okay, so the message has been published. Let's go back to SQS and make sure that it arrived. And here we are, and you can see the messages one is available. Click on it and right click, and we can actually see what the message is if we go to view slash delete messages. So I click on that, and then you can say start polling for messages. And here's the message itself. If you click on more details, you can expand it to see what the contents are. So if you recall, I set the subject to test and the message content body to be test message. So that pretty much wraps this video up. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully you found this useful. And if you're already using or considering using SNS with SQS, I'd love to hear about your use case in the comment sections below. And thanks again, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.